Hi, my name is Brenda, and I live in Durham. So Brenda, when you very first came in here, what was your major complaint? My major complaint was the fact that I was having so much back pain that was going down my buttocks, down into the back of my legs. And how long had that been going on? I would say that had been going on since June, maybe July of 2022. Right, so a very long time. Yes. Yeah, and what other things did you try to do to get this handled? Well, the other thing was um, physical therapy. I had pain medication and I had um, spinal blocks. Wow, so you've done pretty much everything. Yes, yes. What sort of things were you having trouble getting done? Things, you know, everyday household chores. Um, washing dishes, cleaning the house, going to the grocery store, just walking in general. Just normal daily stuff? Normal daily stuff. Difficulty in um, walking up the steps. Difficulty getting in and out of a car. And it got to a point I was having trouble sleeping. Oh boy. Couldn't find that comfortable position. Well, now we've been doing spinal decompression therapy. And how's that been working out? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you know, I was a little skeptical at first, I have to admit. And um, being, having a medical background, I did not really know that much about the spine. But I knew that was something you don't play around with. Okay. But um, I took a chance. You know, and I says, well, let me go see what this is all about. Either I like it or I don't. What can I lose? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so you've done real well, haven't you? Yes, and I'm glad that I stuck with it. Because um, at one point, I thought I was going to have to be put on depression medicine. Mm -hmm. Because I hurt. Didn't want to do anything. But then again, I did want to do something. But the pain just... It's hard to be happy. It is. When, when you, yes. Thinking about your back every yes, time you is. move. Yes, it is. Well, it sounds as though you would recommend spinal decompression. To I others. would definitely. And truth be told, I would probably recommend this before they opt for surgery because they may not need it, you know. And what's the harm in doing something non-invasive versus doing something invasive? But once you've done physical therapy, and physical therapy is not helping, I would strongly suggest you try it.